back to Erin with a hobby. Uh, so today's hobby is a bit different. It's still book related, but it's a little bit different. Um, so that first clip was showing me traveling because uh, recently I went to Brisbane, which is the closest pretty much massive city to where I live, where they have lots of big stores compared to what we have here in Bundaberg. And when I was there, I went to a few secondhand bookstores. So this is going to be a bit of a chat through about them and then also a bit of a book haul about what I bought because I did buy books because I, what was I, not going to buy books? Would that have been the smart thing to do, not buy books? Anyway, uh, let's get on into the bookstores that I went to. So I'm going to include a few uh, clips from them as well as um, if I bought any books. So the first one I went to is, was called Sales. So the first bookshop I went to was called Scholastic Bookshop, which is like a secondhand bookstore, like five minutes from where we were staying. So it is set in like this massive shed area and it's like wall to wall of books and then like aisles in the middle of books it was so good. So yeah, while I was in there, I saw lots of different uh, books that possibly might interest me. So it was really cool. There was a, a YA section and then there was a fantasy sci-fi section. So I mainly looked in them. I did have a bit of a look in the paperback and hardback fiction sections, but I always struggle sometimes when I look in those because then there's so much to choose from. But I did end up getting some books from the Scholastic. I think it's Scholastic. If it's a different name, I will, it, it will be the correct name in the video and photos. So. Um, I actually ended up getting six books from uh, from this bookstore, which I was very happy about. Majority of them were sequels for books that I had the rest of them, or if I was missing one book, so I got them. So the first, um, these aren't in any particular order, they're just the way that I've grabbed them. First, if, first up is The Bowling Inheritance by Philippa Gregory. So this is one of his, like, um, political... court politic style stories. So there's a heap of them and this is another one of his. So I was very happy to get my hands on this. Uh, so that just adds another one to the ever growing list of them that I currently have. Uh, next is Rune and Rising by Lee Badu, which is book three to the Grishaverse, which is the final book in the first trilogy. I'm pretty sure it's the first one, but it's the one that sort of started off all of the books in the Grishaverse, so I was very happy to get it. And I was happy because I, I think I prefer these to the other ones because I do have the other editions, which I don't mind. But I was happy to see this version. Um, I will be, I will enjoy reading it. The only problem I will say with this store is a, a lot of them have like the library stickers and the library vinyl stuff because a lot of them are cancelled from library book, um cancelled library books so just beware if you go into it that that is um what's going to happen it doesn't really bother me i am used to that but if i can get ones without the library stickers that is generally what i prefer and next i got uh the second book where i had book one and book three and that is captive by amy Carp. Yeah, Amy Carter, which I believe is book two to the porn series. And I was so excited to see this because when I um, have previously done book shopping at secondhand stores or looked on secondhand websites for books, I have not been able to find this and it's always out of stock. So when I saw this, I was like, I need this. So I was very happy. So that um, completes the trilogy. And I will finally be able to read it because I've had that first book for years, so I need to read it. Uh, next, I bought two books, which I were the two books that I kind of needed to complete a series, which was Northern Lights and The Subtle Knife by Neil Gaiman, which are the first Neil Gaiman. Oh my gosh, by Philip Pullman. Don't shoot me for saying the wrong author, but these were the two books that I bought, and I quite like these new editions um, of the um, Golden Compass series, or is it Northern Lights? Dark Materials. I haven't read them yet, so I haven't. But no, these are the two books um, in his series that I was able to find. So that completes 
uh, the set. I have the third one in this edition as well, so I was very happy to complete it. The next book is a standalone, which Mum picked out for me, so thank you, Mum. That is Phoenix Rising by Ron Richardson, which is like a little um, standalone book about a boy with the phoenix powers, which sounds pretty cool. And it was a standalone, so I was pretty happy to get it. It's only very short, so it'll be really nice to read through it. Ooh, it's got... What is this? What's this at the back? What is it? Ooh, names and places. So it's obviously got some historical things in it. Oh, it's only 130 pages, so it's, it's not overly long. So I'll be happy to get to it. Okay, so we are not done yet. So after that, um, that was all done on the Saturday. So um, we were actually there for the whole weekend from Friday through to Sunday. This was all done on the Saturday. So that was the first bookstore we went to in the morning. I then went into the main part of Brisbane, the main city area um, over at South Bank. And from there, I walked around, had lunch with a friend. And from there, I went to this random bookstore that I happened to stumble upon. I believe it was called Avid Readers. And I, I don't think it was a secondhand bookstore. I actually think it was all new books. Um, so let's have a look at some of the footage of me going through there end up buying anything from this bookstore because nothing really jumped out at me because it was a very small one so there was only like one um shelf not sh like one bookshelf of each genre so there was like um classics fantasy um all that sort of stuff then there was the fiction section and there was some um, horror thrillers and there was a kids section so there wasn't a whole lot of stuff it was cool to have a look in there and see what options were available but nothing particularly jumped out at me so i sort of left there without buying anything which is a good thing because later that day i went to the lifeline book fest which i have previously mentioned on my channel is a awesome uh sale that happens throughout the year happening in different cities around i don't know if it's just Queensland or if it's all of Australia but uh, it is put on by the Lifeline op shop which sells the books that are donated to them and also the games records DVDs CDs all sorts of things um, that are sold at fairly reduced prices so I went there and I didn't take any footage but it happens in the Brisbane Convention Center so it is huge um, but I did buy some books I think I bought six books but I will go through the ones that I bought I actually bought seven books so I think I did pretty good considering I was only like what was it 30 bucks for all up that's not bad was it 30 I feel like it might have been I'm not 100% sure anyway first up um, is Betrothed by Wanda Whittleshear I don't know if I pronounced that right but this is um, I'm not actually sure if it's a series but it's like um, what's the word it's a fairy series so that sort of hooked me and then it was like forbidden romance they're not supposed to be together because they're different races different species all that sort of thing and it sounded really really cool to me um something a bit different i hadn't heard of this older before so i'm looking forward to getting to this one next is the house of the eagle by duncan sprott so this is an egyptian like history thing but it's like I just realized the bookmark and receipt was in there whoops but it's sort of like oh, how do they explain it it's yeah it looks at the good the story and history of egypt and done in a fantastical way because i believe this book is told by one of the egyptian gods like wasn't it yeah it's by toth the ibis egyptian god of writing and wisdom so it actually looks at its history. So I thought that was really cool, something different. I still love the Egyptian mythology side of it, um, especially from Rick Riordan. So I'm looking forward to getting to this. Okay, next are all sequels or series that I needed. So first up is, uh, which one's first? Grim Tuesday and Lord Sunday by Garth Nix, which is books two and seven to the Keys to the Kingdom series. I believe I have book one and book five, I think. So filling them in has been really good and I was happy to get these editions because I think I do prefer these editions. I hadn't noticed, but at the bottom it has like one sort of thing that goes with it. So book 
uh, Grim Tuesday is a train and Lord Sunday is a tree. So it'll be interesting to see what happens in these. Next is Merlin's Nightmare by Robert Thresh Killard, which is book three to the Merlin Spiral. I had bought books one and two at the last Brisbane Lifeline Book Fest. So when I found this one, I was quite happy about it. It's just got a heap of stickers on the back, which I haven't been able to get off. So, ooh, this has location map and detailed character index. Let's have a look at the map because I actually hadn't looked. Ooh, that's cool. So it's actually quite detailed maps. I'm actually really happy with that. Oh, there's a third one with actual cities. I quite like that. That's cool. The last two are The Circle Gift and The Circle Princess, uh, both by Melina Fanada. Fanada. So these are just two um, young, younger, like middle grade fantasy ones about friendship and magic and nature and preserving nature and stuff like that. So I had book four, so I think I just need one more and then I have all of them because I, I think you can read them by themselves, but I would like to get the all of them so that I get the full picture. So those are all the books and all the bookstores that I went to when I recently went to Brisbane. I had a lot of fun. I really like the Scholastic bookstore that we went to first. I think that'll be where I go a lot when I go to Brisbane, especially if I'm over that end, uh, that side over in that area, because there's lots of bookstores and lots of different suburbs and they're like, Brisbane takes forever to drive places and I didn't want to drive in Brisbane if I could avoid it. So yes, that is the end of this video. Um, if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. Also, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of my future content. Also, comment down below so um, to let me know where's one of your favourite secondhand bookstores. I would love to know the names of some of them, especially if they are in Brisbane or Bundaberg, because then I can possibly go and find them. But yeah, I hope everyone has a lovely day and continues to live well. Bye, guys.